Hello and welcome to the European Rugby Champions Cup Round 3 predictions brought to you by Driving Mall. Thanks for joining me, I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Mall um, and let's crack on. So first up we have Glasgow hosting Montpellier. Both these sides have lost their opening two games um, and let's be honest they're probably out of the competition already effectively with uh, Leinster and Exeter both um, going well. So, um, and there are extra have proven in the past you can qualify after losing your opening two games, um, but that was by the skin of their teeth. I think Montpellier will show that uh, we'll send, send a weakened side across because of their, they're out, and I think back in Glasgow to win this one by five. Scarlets and Treviso are basically in a, a very similar boat. Both lost their opening two games. Scarlets did pick up a couple of losing uh, bonus points, uh, though, so maybe um, they can chase down. Uh, Bath or Toulon, who both didn't pick up any bonus points at all. So I think we're back, I'm back in Scarlet's winners one by uh, by seven, uh, and uh, but I still think they are really on to a long shot of actually qualifying. Toulon then hosts Bath. I say both teams won their opening two games without bonus points, both on eight points, um, and I think I'm going to back home advantage here uh, and back Toulon by five. And neither of these two sides have really set, uh, they've both been a bit inconsistent this season. Uh, Toulon are down in mid-table of the top 14, uh, so um, definitely not at their vintage best, uh, but even so, I think for this game, uh, I'm going to back them. Saints host Ospreys, again, another two sides that um, lost their opening two games. Ospreys at least did pick up three bonus points, um, but I think closing in on uh, Saracens on Clermont is going to be a, an ask too far for both these sides. Um, Saints have been going poorly thus the last, last five games in the Viva Premiership, um, but still, I mean, Ospreys have also been going poorly in the Pro 14. So I'm going to back Saints to win this one by three. Next, um, we have Castra hosting Racing. Uh, I think Castra possibly will throw the towel in on this one. They're bottom of their group with three points, um, having had a draw and a loss so far. Uh, and so I'm going to back Racing to win this one by three. Uh, Racing haven't been great this season, but I think Castra will just concentrate on the top 14 for this one. I'm going to go for a rare away French victory here. It's really going to be against the. Um, it'll be an upset uh, probably if if that does happen. So I'm going for the upset there. Munster then hosts Leicester Tigers, and this is going to be a competitive one. I mean, both these sides um, have got six points so far. And Munster with a draw and a win, um, whereas Tigers got just got a loss and win, but got the bonus points. Um, so both on six points, Racing on five points behind them. So they know this is going to be a tough pull. Uh, I'm backing Munster at home to win one by five. Uh, that's my uh, so. We'll see how that goes. La Rochelle hosts Wasps, and La Rochelle are going well in the top 14, and they won their opening two games in this one. Wasps got a win and a loss uh, in their opening two games, but have been much improved recently. Even so, I think a trip over to France is going to be a step too far for them, and I'm going to back La Rochelle by five. Quinns hosts Ulster. Now, Quinns with those two losses um, really are probably out of this with having picked up only one bonus point so far. Um, Ulster, um, again, uh, disappointing in this competition uh, and also actually in the, the Pro 14 this season haven't really been going well um, at all. So um, I think that uh, I think I'm backing Har Harlequins to win this one. They got a good win over um, Saracens last weekend at home uh, and our decent home side. So I'm backing Har Harlequins there. Saracens host Clermont. Both his sides kicked off with um, two home, with, with two victories. Um, Saracens got uh, an extra have gone on ten points. Clermont on nine uh, in this competition. Saracens have stumbled since then, and in Clermont have been a bit up and down um, as well. Strong at home, not so good away, and hence, yes, I'm going to be backing Saracens to win this one by five. Finally, um, pick of the round, really, Exeter versus Leinster. Both these sides going well in their domestic competition. Both these sides picked up two wins in the opening two rounds. Leinster got the bonus points, so Exeter really do need um, the win here and to keep Leinster from getting a losing bonus point because uh, at the moment Leinster are two points ahead of Exeter in this competition. Exeter needs to close that gap and I'm backing Exeter's winners one by five. I think they win it but they might not um, stop that losing bonus point. So those are my thoughts. Always up for good rugby chats. Please let me know your thoughts down below um, or you can get hold of me on Twitter at DrivingMall. Enjoy everybody watching this weekend. <laughs>